Mark chapter 14 verses 4 to 9. But there are some who are indignant among themselves and said, Why was this fragment all wasted? For it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they criticized her sharply. But Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me, for you have the poor with you always. But whenever you wish, you may do them good. But me, you do not have always. But she has come beforehand to anoint my body for barrier. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. As we continue with the story of Mary's act of love, we see that Mark indicates that some were indignant about what she had done. John is more direct and names Judas. He thought it was a waste of resources. His reasoning was that Mary should have cared for the poor first instead of honoring Jesus with a gift. It was customary, especially on the evening of Passover, to remember the poor with the gifts. However, John reveals Judas' true motivation as being far less compassionate. He did not care about the poor, but simply wanted to fill his own pockets. Mary, who broke the alabaster jar of costly perfume uh, for Jesus, met the resurrected Lord. But Judas, who thought her gift a waste, sold Jesus for thirty pieces of silver, betrayed him with a kiss, and ended up hanging himself. For Judas, the gift was a waste because he did not have that much affection for Jesus. 300 denarii is a year's wages for a laborer, about 30000 to $40,000. For Mary, this was not too expensive to pour out on Jesus. The perfume may have been a family treasure, something that had been passed down through the generations from mother to daughter. Yet it couldn't compare in value to the love she had for Jesus. For Judas, sadly, Jesus was worth less than 30 pieces of silver or above $400. Mary held nothing in reserve as she expressed a love for Jesus. But Judas held back everything and eventually betrayed him. As Mary faced condemnation for her act, Jesus stood up for her and vindicated her. He accepted her selfless love. In fact, Jesus said that wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she had done would also be told as a memorial to her. Why did Jesus say that her story should be remembered? Jesus did not hold anything back in his love for us. Mary received Jesus' lavish love and responded in kind. This is what Jesus wanted his followers to remember, how to practice selfless love to him and others. How valuable is Jesus' love to you? And how valuable is the love you have given to Jesus?